What's going on guys, it's Jamie and welcome back to another video and welcome to episode number two in the comeback series. As you can see from the title, we have a very, very exciting video planned for you guys today because I am finally going to be reunited with my boy Kyle and we're going to hit a big old bench session. If you've been watching my YouTube videos or following me on Instagram for a while now, you will know that Kyle and I used to train together a lot back in the days when we used to both train at Fortitude. Now we both go to different gyms and with COVID and everything like that, it has been a long, long while, too long to be honest, since we have hit a session together and we have finally managed to get one in and it is going down today. We're not going to FTC though, we're actually going over to his gym, which is a gym called Oaks in Ipswich, which is a really cool, very old school style bodybuilding gym. So it should be a really, really good session. We're gonna be meeting at three o'clock. So we've got a couple of hours now and I'm gonna get in what will be my pre-workout meal. We'll be eating this one about an hour before training, which for me personally, I found this works really, really well with getting the benefits out of it during my session. So I'm gonna be getting in all six of these heck chicken sausages, 100 grams of basmati rice and a handful of green beans as well. So a really, really simple meal guys, but one that has become pretty much a staple pre-workout meal on a Saturday for me before this push day. Quite often, instead of the heck sausages, I will just have like two burgers. I've just got these today because I saw them in Tesco and thought they looked really nice. But regardless of what the protein is, the 100 grams of basmati and the veg will always stay the same. And this is gonna get me nice and fueled up, ready for this push workout. We're at it again. How long have the been since we fucking trained together? Like, it was definitely in like, yeah, between the last few, yeah, yeah. Been a while. I don't think I've ever vlogged in this gym though. So this is Oaks. This is where Carl is going now and he's a PT here as well. And it's probably like the most fucking old school gym in town. It's like a Ronnie Coleman type dusty dumbbell gym, but proper old school but Yeah, I've got my headphones. So we got we gotta take over the speaker, yeah. We're also using today one of these, how do you pronounce that? Mirror? Myra? Myra Fit, it is one of the fat pad benches and if you've never used one of these before and you get the chance to, oh my freaking god, the difference that it makes to your bench is unbelievable. They are so wide, so stable across your upper back. They are an absolute game changer. We're warming up right now. Hopefully we're going to push some good numbers today. So I'm thinking about going for a top single today, a PR. It won't be a lifetime PR, but it will be a PR since we have been back from lockdown. 110 there moved really, really well. Definitely the best that it has since we've been back from lockdown. So I've got high hopes. Hopefully we can go for something really nice today. Right, let's do it. Get up, easy. Alright guys, so that was 120 kg on the warm up there. Again, the best that has ever moved since the lockdown. I actually hit that for a double back in my heavy upper session on the Tuesday that's just gone. I'm gonna go up again to 130, so hopefully we can get that. Yeah. 
So I've wrapped it up on the flat bench guys, really really good sets there. I got the single at 130 which is a new PR in this place, not all time, but certainly a new PR since the lockdown, very happy to have pushed that. Carl backed off at 130 and then I backed off at 100 kg for 12 reps, which again is a massive improvement since lockdown. Woo! Moving on to the second exercise now, we're going to hit some incline bench, which is normally the movement that I hit fresh in my push deck. So it's going to be interesting to see what it feels like as a second movement after being on a flat bench. Let's go! Let's go! Five, easy, six, easy, seven, eight. Very good session. Oh, great session. Yeah, very good session. And we were just saying between the two of us, the next one we get together is going to have to be deadlifts because you guys know we used to deadlift all the time. And we're the 300. We'll probably. get one. We'll organise one in a few weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're good for it, we'll get it again. Get one in. Cool. See you yeah, later, bro. So that is going to do it for the push session and also for this week's video guys. I really hope you enjoyed that one. That ended up being an absolutely awesome session down at Oaks with Kyle there. That was actually my last session before a deload week. Um, so for me, it was completely off program. We kind of just hit whatever movements we felt like. And then I've actually been on a deload for this entire week. The highlight from that session has to be that PR on the bench, as I said when I was shooting the video, that isn't an all time PR, but it's definitely a PR since we have been back from lockdown. And I think I would actually go as far to say that is a PR since any of the lockdowns that we've had. I don't think I'd hit that weight even after the first ever lockdown. Um, and even if I did, that one definitely moved a whole lot better. So I'm really, really happy with that. We're slowly bringing it back determined to get back up to that three plate bench that we had a couple of years ago. For the record as well, just in case you guys were wondering, Kyle did actually hit a top set as well. 160, he actually managed to push that for six reps. Obviously I had my camera, camera set up to film it, but after the set I realized that I just didn't film it. So that was really annoying, but he did hit a really good top set as well. But yeah, as I said, that is gonna do it for this week's video though, guys. Before I go, I just wanted to apologize to you guys quickly for being a little bit quiet here on YouTube with the videos. I think it's been three or four weeks since I've uploaded. We had a couple of busy weekends around Lucy's birthday and having friends around to the house and stuff like that. So obviously I just wasn't vlogging around those times. And to be honest, I've just been so focused being back in the gym with training and stuff. Everything has been going so well. I just wasn't picking my camera up and shooting any vlogs. So as I said, I apologize for that guys. We are back on a good schedule now. Once this video has gone live, we're gonna be back on a very good schedule with YouTube content. So get excited for some really good content coming very soon, guys. As I said, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button for me, guys. I would really, really appreciate it. And drop a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the video down there. And also, if you have any ideas of what kind of things you wanna see from my channel, leave them down there as well. If you're new to the channel guys, or if you just haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well for brand new videos every single week. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.